Welcome back to EKG. And this is EJX. And this is Cloudy. And this is Jedi Fallen Order. Jedi, Star Wars, Fallen, Order Wars. Mm hmm. Order Wars. No, I ordered boneless wings. No, sir, you ordered traditional. No, <laughs> I needed boneless pizza, sir. That would be a terrible Boneless show. pizza. Just that would be terrible. God, I, there's times I wish I edited every episode. Not that I don't think Paul is able, but because my humor is so dumb that like <laughs> when I said boneless there, I would have base boosted. So it's been like boneless pizza. Boneless. Like boneless pizza. Like I'd throw shit in like that, which would probably make most of the episodes unwatchable. <laughs> yeah, after a little. Like I do, like when, the difference between me and Paul is Paul is very like subtle yeah and like he's all about like when he does do stuff though it's always like hilarious or like oh, yeah. he'll chime something in like it's always funny something me i just throw everything at the wall <laughs> I'm, like every idea i have something's gonna fucking stick yeah one of these will be funny i also oh. throw a lot more visual aid oh look out lizard boys coming in look at them Ooh, it's a new skillsy hmm force trace no 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 but i'm already tracer oh it's a flashback it's that Gugum. Yes, the path Purple is guy. difficult. It may seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. Yeah, I'm super important. Path. That's why I'm in all the future movies. Now, <laughs> do what you must to reach me. Yeah, I'll certainly survive. How do you? What is your opinion with uh, um, alien races? Do you prefer the like Star Wars method, where it kind of seems like? There's just like thousands of races and like you kind of never see a bunch of one race. Like they're always just kind of like scattered about. Or do you prefer like the Mass Effect way when there's like less races and there's more of them, like more of each race, but like, you know, just less overall. So do you prefer like there to be more races or more people of a singular race? I feel like <laughs> this is like a slight allegory for like actual races and like reality. But it's, I know it's not, but just like the way it's worded sounds funny. Yeah. Like, <laughs> do, you do, you, do you believe in separating the races? <laughs> no, it's not even separating No, them. no, I know. No, I know what you mean. I, I, I kind of like... If there was like thousands of human races, that'd be fucking weird, though. I mean, it depends how like different they were. Yeah, I guess. Think you Actually, could be kind of cool. Again? I'd be on, I'd want to be a race that could climb shit. I mean, I'm, the hardest thing about Spider having so many would just be like being able to remember who's who and what's what. I mean, at Plus, the point, it, it's I, all that many different languages and like different governments. We already fucking, have a lot of that. So just imagine if every like yeah, but this is on a fucking galactic, universal scale, yeah, yeah. galactic scale. Yeah, so that means every like every species does have the um the potential to have as much diversity as like the human race. So think about that. Think about how much like like races, languages, religions, governments we have. Now put that to every race you see. It's like, damn, that's a lot of fucking. Oh yeah, it's it's a, it's a lot. Da that's a lot of damage. <laughs> hey, fucking I, this conversation. Hitler answers the chat, and Hitler leaves <laughs> the chat. He is angry. Uh, you dick. Well, at least you're not dying when you do that. It's true. Oh my, get your head cut off. You chop that boy in half. So yeah, to keep this game like rated Star Wars for Star Wars, keep, keep this game rated Disney for Disney, they let you disembowel the animals, but not the people. Yep. I mean, I'll take it. It's it bugs me, but I'll take the trade off for having yeah. a decent Star Wars game. Yeah, a it's, decent like solo Star Wars game. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Oh yeah, been a long time. You gotta scan everything. Yeah, even like oh man, like the Battlefront games, like the new ones. I just, hate them. It's like they're just not fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of just like. Oh, did I get one of the characters I want to play as? No? Okay. Alrighty. Time to play as a stormtrooper. Again. <laughs> oh, I got Leia. Neat. Great. Just what I wanted. Can I play as a Jedi or a Sith? Can I play as Darth Vader? For no. like a second. Yeah, for like a second. Then you're going to get ganged up on and die. Oh, I guess I can't go that way. My God, the game really doesn't want you. Yeah, it really doesn't want you to go that way. It, Shit. Yeah, the camera, his movements, they're all just like, nope. Right, so what I are guess, we doing right now? I guess uh, I'm I'm supposed to leave now. I was just supposed to go there for the wall ride. Oh, I mean, it's being like in general, like what are we doing on this planet? Um, Over trying here. to find some like former Jedi masters, like uh, fucking notes or some like message or something. Huh. something. Yeah, some some, some kind of Mickey. Just explore green planet. Yeah. So you said this game is like Metroid meets Star Wars. 
Yeah, because like about. Metroid meets what do you call it? You said uh, d like Dark Souls. Uh, Dark Souls, yeah, or no, Bloodborne. Okay. God, uh, mainly just in the fact because like it's it has like instead of um, like for there's meditation points where so if, with your experience like if I died right now, all you'd lose all that experience. So like, but yeah. um, so, like, so right and... now I think I have a skill point. Yeah. So then I can use that skill point here, which is like kind of how it works in Dark Souls. Yeah. So like you get your skill tree. And then like with, it kind of reminds me of Metroid. Cause like, so like this is a section where I just got like a wall ride. So now there's like a bunch of sections that we already went to. That you can now open up. Yeah. So, it's, so yeah, up. it's got the Metroidvania yep. level design. Yeah, it's really cool. And so like there's a lot of exploration you can do. I don't want to go back there. No, no, no. So yeah, um, there's a lot of exploration you can do in this nice. game. Nice. Yeah, so if different abilities unlock parts of the world, and like if you were to draw the map, and like kind of dim out everything where you couldn't go, as soon as you got that ability, more places just lit up. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's cool. I would love a fucking third-person Metroid game that like, like super AAA graphics all fucking. It could even be stylized like graphic wise, oh, right. but like just like in like have it be like Witcher where there's just a bunch of contracts for shit going planet to planet. Yeah, that'd be fucking awesome. Yeah, because, like, Samus's world is so unexplored besides, like, three plant, two planets. Right. And it's like, and, like, you could just throw so many weird alien monsters at her. And, like, you can have almost, like, a, a Lovecraftian design to a lot of them because look at Kraid. Look at fucking. Yeah, for real. Uh, Crocomire with his eight eyes, mother brain. Like, they're pretty, they're pretty gross. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nightmare. Remember Nightmare from Fusion? Yeah, it's very horror style. Yeah, so you have like this horror alien game, but where you're this super powered badass. <laughs> oh, I'd be so. I talk about it all the time because I want it so badly. I know. Like, I love the Metroid game formula. Like, you know, you have your Super Metroid, your Metroid Primes. But, like, to take that and, like, to take Metroid and, like, let maybe, like, a smaller studio just do oh, something new with it. Is that a fucking dragon? It's kind of weird. What the fuck is that? It's got a weird snoot. Paul, wait, huge. hold on. Look back at it. Paul, zoom in. Look at its snoot. <laughs> it, it's kind of funny, actually. That's really it's massive. Bug. Oh, my buggy. Uh, they call it a bug. Oh! My crabbies. Crabbies. Crab people. Crab people. I have not watched all fucking a while. I haven't either. I haven't seen a lot of, like, the new seasons, too. I haven't yeah. seen, like, the past two of them. Yeah, well, like, they just keep coming out. I'm I like, know. damn, most shows, like, give you a break. I know, it never ends. Yeah. Is it? Is there anything more disappointing than when like a show finally comes back? You're super excited for it, but then the first couple episodes of like the new oh. season are like slow. And it, yeah, it's just not good. But yeah, well, it's not even like it's bad. Like right now, it's me with my hero, Academia. Oh. Um, because like seasons one and through three, especially two and three, are fucking phenomenal. But like season four, it's like get to the good stuff. <laughs> like I feel like we're like five episodes, four or five episodes into the dub, and I'm just like, and apparently a bunch of crazy shit happens. Hmm. Like, like our main characters had to come to grips with the fact that like his mentor, the person who gave him his superpowers, is gonna die. Oh, like he was fated to die, and like, it's like he has to live with that. It's like okay, I have still that. Just like, no, but like, can we can we talk about that more? <laughs> But then nah. they just kind of like yell heroic things at each other when they're talking about it. It's like, I promise I will blah, blah, blah. And I promise I will blah, blah, blah. And it's kind of, I was like, mm. It's like my least favorite parts of that show are just uh, like when people scream. The anime heroic. moments. Yeah, when it gets a little too anime. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But like, it's a fantastic show. I highly recommend it. It's, oh, it's on Hulu. Okay. Um, yeah, I need to like, that because like, there's like a handful of animes like I really like and the yet. rest I have no idea about anything about. Okay, well, there's like, okay, dude, it's, you could won. watch an anime, watch probably. about three episodes, if you can even get that far. And like, you'll know what you're getting into and a lot of them are bad. Oh, okay. There's a lot of just generic ass, like a lot of people like that Seven Deadly Sins on Netflix. I hate it. Really? It's just the most generic anime bullshit I've ever seen. Huh. Like the concept's cool. Like the main characters are the Seven Deadly Sins and like, uh, but like none of them like, their powers don't make sense compared to like their like sin okay like um yeah it's weird like i don't know i thought like whatever not the point the point <laughs> is though um and like it's got like the main girls one of those characters who just like do you remember the girl from Yu-Gi-Oh? she always just speak <gasps> yugi uh, vaguely, yeah. It's, it's one of those characters. He just goes like, Milionis! Uh, all the time. I hate that shit. Oh, it's so annoying. Just tries Amazing. to add dramatic effect. Yeah, like, all they, but that's all their character is. It's just yeah. like, follow the hero around and, like, gasp dramatically anytime something <laughs> happens. 
It's like, don't be wrong, the DBZ gang was that, but like at least it yeah. wasn't, they just weren't, like, it was just like, oh, go cool. Yeah, at least no, they had some substance. And they had something to well say. Done. Yeah. Whoever you are. And at least they were characters that like did stuff. Yeah, they got power crept out. But they, were, <laughs> yeah. they did do stuff while there. Yeah, they contributed. That guy looks like he belongs in a PS3 game. Well, it's a hologram. I know. It's a nice effect to make it look like it's shitty technology, but like, yeah, that looks like a PS3 game. Yeah. Well, look how bad the holograms looked like in the original three. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm saying like it's a cool idea to like make the holograms yeah, yeah. look. You know, bad. Yeah. You can't look, they're like, all right, just build it for a PS3 game and we'll just cram it in. There. <laughs> like, his jaw looks terrible. His eyes just look like yeah. black <laughs> devil eyes. <laughs> I need the blood of your firstborn. Give it to me now. Give it to me now. Is it crazy? We're getting to the age that, like, all of our friends are getting married and having kids. You said you're firstborn. It made me think of that. Like, oh, right. Like, we, in theory, are a couple bad decisions away from, like, having kids. Yep. Seek out the hidden tombs. Yeah, no, I couldn't do it. Yeah, no, I did be fucked. It's like, basically, <laughs> like, I know my sister watches the show, and she has a kid, like, and I love Odin. He's, he's fantastic. Great kid. But, like, it's just kind of, like, the death of, like, any of your ambitions beyond, like, that now. Don't get me wrong, being a well, not being a parent is a great thing, but, like, like I have a lot of things I want to do that involve me, like, being out and being away. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely changes, like, your purpose in life. Yeah, exactly. Just Which is, it's not, it's not inherently bad, no, no but, not. like, for what I want to do is bad. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. See, so, yeah, I couldn't do it. <sighs> I just don't want to fucking have to, to deal with to more responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? I can barely take care of myself. I'm still like a man child. <laughs> yeah. I have I haven't eaten today. I forgot to eat today. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> you know, I've been alone for a while. Dude, now. You're like opening up to a robot. Without any purpose, just We get it. Should we just come back after his dramatic speech? Yeah, we you just join right, us well, next join time. Join us next time. That's a weird episode. We talked about a lot of different things. I know. <laughs>